And welcome back, this is Baller Scoopal with more Let's Play Mass Effect. I'm joined, as always, by the Spectre Commander, Mariah Shepard. When we last left off, we were doing side quests. We're going to continue doing that today. Uh, now, I do have to say, before we get too far underway, that uh, this is my second time trying to record this. I only mention that because that means that I have seen a couple things uh, that normally I wouldn't have seen. Uh, I did get a request... Uh, well, not a request, a suggestion to look into asteroid belts as well. So we're going to start doing that. Apparently there are rocky asteroids in there with some stuff on them. Hey, magnesium. Good to see. Unfortunately, the last time I went to uh, play, uh, there were some uh, technical difficulties. And I do mean some, because it wasn't just one thing, unfortunately, uh, that kind of stop me from uh, moving forward. So, uh, we're going to hopefully have better luck today. We will check out the other planet here. Uh, still not going to really look over this kind of stuff, uh, but someone, uh, well actually I've had a couple requests or asks or questions, whatever I'm trying to say. Uh, am I going to be doing DLC? I hope so. Uh, it looks like it's going to be complicated for me to set that up though. So for the time being, I, I will try. I will try. I do believe that was it. Um, Antaeus, Dis, and Farinata. I believe that was the last one. Uh, but you know, I could check out Dis before we go. I'm not sure if we went there before we move on. There's still a few side quests I did want to take care of. Right, uh, usually it's like the second one here. Near him? That sounds like a place I could land. Nope. Clensall? Come on, Clensall. Clensall, I can land. I don't think we've been here, actually. Uh, Clensall has a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane. Uh, its first geological surveys were performed by Batarians and suggested areas of great mineral wealth. Human mining concerns spent billions of credits hustling to a distant system and sinking test spores to claim the system for humanity. But Clinton had only an average level of mineral wealth. Oh, no. Have we been here? I'm gonna land and see. Because I have forgotten, and that tends to happen when I've seen things, and I... Like, don't talk about it. It's like, oh, well, I have seen a few things. Was this one of the things that I saw before or last time, you know? But we will check, and it will be a real easy thing to check once we land. Check the map. Uh, Syndicate hideout. Sir, yeah, we have been here. There's no way all that could have happened if I had been here. So we have been to this. Uh, we will have to move on after this but uh we will we'll check out the mineral the, the not mineral field the asteroid belt uh before we go just in case does it look oh there is something here a metallic asteroid let's see what we got here lithium element number three all right we should be good to go from the hades gamma Cluster. Uh, there were a couple other places I wanted to go. Gemini Sigma uh, was the first one. We got Ming and we got Han. All right, we'll go to Ming first. Obviously, names of Chinese dynasties. Ming Han. We have dropped the Greek theme here. We have dropped that entirely. And here we can find another uh, another spaceship. First, we can find Antiropris. Nothing here, unfortunately. All right, MSV Worthington. The Worthington is a Kowloon-class modular conveyor of human design configured for mixed freight and passenger hauling. The ship appears to be in a shutdown state. The main thrusters are cold and it is adrift off the orbit of Antiropris. Registry of the Morrison Company, Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi. I'm not sure why one SH was spelled with an SH and the other one was spelled with an X. Not entirely sure, but we have made it on board. Like I said, I have uh, done a little bit of Guess this Guess nobody's before. home. Someone shut this place down. Only basic life support is still running. 
hopefully the sound is accurate. They sound a little bit loud to me, but uh, hopefully the sound settings are, are good here. But we are ready to move on. Yeah, I don't know what happened last session. They just like reset settings on me and that was not acceptable. Not acceptable. We'll see if the other problem has been fixed. Can I quick save now? Can I like point somewhere where, yeah. Apparently I still cannot quick save. I don't know what the problem is there. They changed the button on me. I'll have to check Hear that, that out. We're not alone. All right, so since I have been here before, I do know the little gimmick uh, with this place. And that is these things will explode Somebody if I go. The, trap. the whole place could be wired. Those things will explode if I go near. How am I missing that? No wonder I miss so often when I shoot. Holy crap. So I know to blow these up. I apologize for knowing that, but uh, this was, you know, the first stop that I went to. I know to... Don't... Don't crouch. Why'd you do that? Why did you do that, Ashley? I tried to warn you, but you didn't listen. Anything over there? Yes, there is. Careful of that. All right, I will take that. I will take all of that. Anything else to blow up while I'm here? I don't want anything blowing up in my face without my permission. It doesn't look like there's anything more. Ashley has fully recovered. She does have a way to heal herself. I don't believe Shepard does. Which is possibly the worst thing that I could do. It's like, oh, we'll make sure she lives. But uh, me, who cares? All right, I am still short on metagels and grenades. Uh, we'll hopefully get those as we continue on. If all else fails, I can go back to the Normandy. I don't think we're going to have too big of an issue here, though. All right. Here we can find this guy with a life mo support machine that I can look at. It's Boomhauser from King of the Hill. That machine's keeping him alive. No brain activity. He's dead. Body's nothing but an empty shell. Hey, look, the settings fix themselves. Actually, I fixed him. We can't help him! Maybe we should shut the machine down. It's the merciful thing to do. Your call, Commander. But maybe we should wait until we know more about what's going on before we do anything. That is... a good suggestion. But, we can also look at the medical computer here. Jacob's not going to make it. His brain was deprived of oxygen for too long. There's nothing any of us can do for him now except let him die with dignity. It's what he would want. I'm more worried about Julia now. She's showing signs of severe depression. I gave her some meds that should help, but I better warn the captain. All right, looks like uh, he's on life support, and they're saying that he would not want to be on life support. Average decryption. All right, I'm good at that, maybe. Holy crap, just saw a flood of red. All right, got it. Lots of threes. I'm not entirely sure what they all do, but I got threes, and that's when I'm happy to see. I am uh, turning all level one stuff into Omni Gels these days. Might sell stuff at level two, we'll see. But uh, level three is, that's good to see. Easy. Indeed it was. Give me that. All right, cute crew computer. They say Jacob's gone. They say his brain isn't functioning anymore. And they want to shut off his machines. But Jacob's the only thing in the world that matters to me. I don't know how to help him. And it's tearing me up inside. I just feel so helpless, so damn angry. Dr. Smith gave me some meds to calm down, but I didn't take them. I can't. Not until I figure out a way to help Jacob. I won't give up on him. I won't. Sounds like people are going crazy here. That's probably Julia then, isn't it? Anything else here? Doesn't look like it. All right, so we will head over here. I believe this is the cockpit. Indeed it is. Anything to look at here? Nope. All right, just the cockpit computer. Jacob is showing no signs of brain activity. There's nothing more we can do for him. He wouldn't want to be kept alive by machines, so we're going to disconnect the life support. Dr. Smith is worried about Julia's reaction, though. She can't seem to let Jacob go. The stress is making her implants flare up, causing intense migraines. 
It'll probably be easier for everyone if we don't tell her until after we shut the life support down. Give her a chance to... Julia, what are you doing here? Why are you... Could you give me a little more... Uh-oh. I hear you back there. But, uh, I, I have throw, so, uh... Good luck to you. I will destroy you! She's gonna destroy me. I also can overload your shields. Destroy your weapon. I will destroy you! Why didn't you destroy her weapon? Thank you. And I can lift you up. And she's gone. Oh, it gets easy if I can just pile up all, all my skills on you, isn't it? All right, so uh, we have taken her out. You guys have anything to say? They do, they're not letting me talk to them. Uh, with her gone, it's okay to, uh, to deal with this. We'll turn this off like... Uh, you did like, the right thing, Commander. Like he would have wanted. Instead of leaving it open. I would have loved to talk to her, but... Unfortunately, she came charging. And now she's gone. I don't believe there is anything more hidden around here. Uh, just the one thing there. And we're good to go. That is one... Well, not uh, side quest done, but we got something done. That is for sure. We did it good. All right, we are ready to go, though. We are ready to go. Now, there's still a few locations that I do want to go to. Plus, I would like to find out if things around here are random or, or not. Uh, when it comes to the side quests, like finding the minerals and stuff like that, is that... Is that uh, random? I, I don't know if there's anything else to do there. I don't think so. I'm just going to let him die there, you know, off screen. <laughs> like he would have wanted. Hey, survey says titanium on Perig. Anything in the asteroid belt? I'm not seeing anything. Doesn't look like it. All right, last one, Altenark. Not going to land here. Nope, just the one spot. Ooh, a medallion. Scanning Altenork revealed something of interest in a debris field. Joker brought the Normandy in close, and a small team was able to retrieve some valuable detritus, including a League of One medallion. I will take the medallion. I don't think they're random, then, because I think I got one there last time, too. All right. Head to the Han galaxy. Or the Han system, I should say. We're still in the one galaxy, the Milky Way. Unless we can go to other ones, but they're not letting me do that. Uh, Paravin! Probably gonna be too hot here. Indeed, it is. 414 Celsius. That is too hot. Uh, it should still be degrees Celsius. It's not Kelvin. There's still a degrees there. Scans of Paravin revealed an unmanned station in geosynchronous orbit. Your salvage team found no evidence on the origins of the station, but they did find one of Matriarch Deliano's writings on board. I think that's what it said last time, so... Nothing new there. All right. Huntington is next. Saturn 2 has nothing for me. They don't even tell me what the uh, the temperature or gravity or anything like that is here because it's ice crystals everywhere. It's Jovian sized. That's uh, Jupiter sized. Jupiter? Jove? That would be Roman mythology. All right. Level 1 cold hazard here on Mavagon. I can't land here though. Uh, Mavagon is a small rock and ice planet with a thin atmosphere of ammonia and methane. The surface is frozen and mainly composed of tin with deposits of potassium. The planet has a rudimentary ammonia-based life, mainly concentrated around geothermal vents deep underground. Severe so storm cycles are common due to limited visibility. Navigation may be difficult. There we go. 0.8 Gs, 0.82 Earth atmospheres. Those should normally be around the same. Negative 124 degrees Celsius, though. That is going to be cold. All right, we'll go ahead and land. Oh, oh, we're getting the winds already, aren't we? Let's land, though. Let's see what we can find in our Mako. Once again, I will be cutting out the journeys in the Mako. Well, someone did ask, why don't I use the thrusters more? Because when I use the thrusters, that's all that happens. Like... And, and then I, I run out of them very quickly. Like, that's me holding down the button. 
that is it. All right, what do we got? Yeah. Uh, we've only got two locations, Debris and the Syndicate Hideout. Obviously, I'm going to be going to the Debris field first. Just go ahead and meet you there. Here is our first Debris field. Looks like another crashed probe. Seriously, whoever designed the probes needs a little bit of help. Uh, we can't stay out too long. It's a level two hazard, even though the thing said only a level one. Here we go. Give me all of that. We need to get back onto the Mako before we all freeze, apparently. And I will meet you at the Syndicate Hideout. Syndicate Hideout is at the top of this mountain, which, as you can see, has a, a few red things on it, which means I'm going to need to get into a fight as soon as I make it up here. Indeed, I do. All right, we have heavy turrets. A lion's heavy turrets. You know, a lion's is supposed to be my side, but uh, what are you going to do? All right, now I get to bob and weave on the top of a mountain. Trying to fight turrets as best as I can. Would help if I hit them from time to time, but I'm hitting them every once in a while. There we go. Honestly, the big cannon is, is dealing like 90% of the damage here, so like, why bother with the rest? There we go. Why bother with the gun when the cannon does so much more? Uh, now those are like anti-tank things, but they don't seem to work against the Mako. Mako is just too strong. All right, enter the building. As you might expect, we're going to have to fight once we're in here. Don't know where exactly though. So I'll be on the lookout for any little, ooh, med kits, medigel plus one. And probably necessary. All right, right on the other side here, we're gonna have to take on a crime lord, most likely. Oh, I don't like the looks of this. 